Hey, Master, what's good, son? What's up, Brandon? Man, I'm good, I'm good. I'm out here today at the Museum of Vancouver. They got a little bike exhibit going on. So I got my own hot special out here, my own fixed gear special. You see this? I got the aeroscope wheel on the back, all right? Oh, man. This is, this is that hot, straight from Michigan. Cats ain't ready out here for this, okay? We got the fixed gears, you can see, so the pedals never stop. The pedals never stop. We got the riser handlebars. Get in there, take a look at that. Riser handlebars, all right? For all y'all who looking at this, don't have y'all feelings be hurt, okay? We out here stunning them people. So I know they're not gonna have nothing this good in the museum, okay? But we're gonna go talk to them. We're gonna go see what the enthusiast biking scene is all about. You know, drop some knowledge on them. They drop some knowledge on us, it'll be good, all right? Yeah, so let's do it. Excuse me. Yes. You can't bring that in here. Oh. There's bike racks outside. All like right. on that side and then over there, but you can't bring that in here. Um, what's your name? Char Charlene? Charlene? Do you have children, Charlene? Do you have nieces no. or nephews or anything? No. Okay, well, if you did, I'm sure like you wouldn't leave like a little child like outside, right? You wouldn't like tie him up to the post like a dog, right? No, this bike isn't like other bikes. So like I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it in the bathroom or no, something, you can't, all right? You cannot I'm gonna call security, you cannot put it in the back. Char you can go. Char you can go. Char you can go. Alright, I'm going home. Look, look, look. Come on, man, just lock up your bike and then we'll go back in there. Nah, man, forget that, dude. Look, this is my baby and, no, screw that, man. I don't need this. I don't need this job. Look, um, here's the lock. Those bikes aren't even worthy to look at my bike, man. You me lock my bike on that rack over there? Well, yeah. All right, so we're here at the Museum of Vancouver and I'm here with Jenny Krikorian. Right, Jenny. And that's Jenny with a G. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, Jenny with a G, um, we're here at the bike exhibit, or is there a technical name for it? Well, it's called VeloCity, Vancouver and the Bicycle Revolution. In Vancouver, a shift was happening, and that Vancouver was really on a cusp of becoming a great uh, North American cycling city. So it really started with uh, getting the community involved. So they've been supporting us um, throughout this exhibit. So we have everything from tall bikes to commuter bikes to police bikes. Okay, yeah, I don't care about those bikes. Do you guys, do you guys have fixies? That's what you know. Do you have fixies? We have fixies. We okay. do, yeah. Do you ride a fixie? I've never, <laughs> I've never tried a fixie. You've never ridden a fixie? <laughs> no. Okay, this interview no. is over. Yeah, that was crazy. But I guarantee you, man, they can't do that in no fixie. You put me out there in my fixie, I would own that course. Your rap. This is called the Moth Chopper, and it's written by the editor Amy Walker of Memento Magazine. This bike is all about love. I feel yeah. the love in the room in general for bikes. There's a lot of love in this room. There's actually a lot of date bikes in this room. Oh, can we see a date bike? Yeah, you can totally see a date bike. All right, um, let's check it out. We're going to check the date bike out right have, here. Uh, we, just, we just hijacked the tour. <laughs> We're going with it. Just roll with it. The Mako Chopper has a nice little place where you can ride on the back, somebody like can get in the front, and we got Ooh. a lot of love happening in the middle. Son, so, you know about it, you know about it? You know, I haven't been on the Mako Chopper, uh, but it would be, you know, okay. it, it's, it's, it could happen. We'll see what happens when the bike comes down. All but, right, we'll talk about it after. Yeah. Is this person from Vancouver then? He's from Vancouver. All, right. All these people are from Vancouver. So this is about, um, Vancouver's not only got a culture of people riding bikes, but it's got a huge culture of people building bikes now. Excellent. So this I'm is a bike rider myself, you know. You are. What yeah, kind of man. bike do you ride? Now I got a fixie. I got the, the fixed gear. Are I'm you, out here. You're a fixie rider. I am a fixie you're rider. You're crazy. I got my aerospoke spoke wheel in the back, you know. How do you stop? Man, you know, I just pedal backwards. <laughs> you know? I don't know if you got these right here hanging up on the wall, man. Right, right, right. That hotness up there. Yeah. You need to have a spot for me right here, man. Brandon, the fixie king, you know. Oh nine, doing the big. All right, so this is Brandon, and I'm back with Amanda. What is your title at the museum? I'm the director of audience engagement. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Yeah. So um, I was just wondering, do you guys have any other like activities or thing going on in conjunction with the bike exhibit right now? Yeah, we do. On Saturday mornings through the summer, starting on July 18th, uh, we're going to be uh, taking people, guided tour with uh, urban planners, are going to ride people around the seawall and show them some of the architectural and sustainability highlights in the city. So uh, you can go to our website, museumofvancouver.ca, to uh, buy a ticket online, and uh, it should be an interesting uh, sort of look at the city used by bicycle. Okay, excellent. Sounds like a good time. Look at that. That's my boy Tron right here. You know, look at that. You see right here, he got the aerospoke spoke wheels. You know, he matching out here. He got the, the yellow and the yellow, looking hot, keeping it fresh. Look at this little guy. He's going to be riding a pixie one day. You can tell. He's all about it. See that? That smile, see that happiness right there? That's the smile and happiness only a bike can give a woman right there. They need to have my picture up on the wall. I don't know why they don't. I'm going to have to talk to them about that. Then get me up on here like, bam, right here. You know, 
we'll make it happen. Well, the Museum of Vancouver is a great place to come if you're looking to learn more about Vancouver, uh, what it was like in the past, uh, what it's like currently, as, as shown in Bella City, um, and also what Vancouver could look like in the future. So we have history exhibits, uh, and then our feature exhibits focus on the contemporary uh, issues in Vancouver. Time to make the mark, baby. Time to make the mark. So Trey, I was hot, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was hot, right? Oh, it was boss. I'm telling you, man, Velo City, Vancouver, the Bicycle Revolution, 1100 Chestnut Street, Museum of Vancouver, here to September 7, 2009. I mean, I'd, you saw old school bikes. I'd saw, check out your... Oh, hey, hey, man. My bike. Oh, snap. My bike. Come here. Ah. Grab him, Trey. Grab him. Come here, man. You okay? Nah, man. Don't look like I'm okay, man. Took my bike, man. Oh. 